Midazolam, uh, name brand is Versid, is another rescue medication that's available for patients with intractable epilepsy. It's not FDA approved for this indication in the United States. It's mainly used for intravenous, but in Europe they're using it if someone's having a seizure and it's a prolonged seizure to help break the seizure from happening. And so what they do is they use the IV formulation, but they give it buccally, which is in the corner of your mouth, or they give it intranasally. So the medication is drawn up into the syringe and then shot into the nose or the mouth. It's a great option for people who don't want to use rectal Valium our um, diastat, or when you're out in public and you're not able to do that. So it's quick, it's easy to use, you just squirt it in there, let it kick in, it'll kick in within a, you know, five to 15 minutes, whether it goes up the nose or into the mouth. Very few side effects, the sedation thing is really not that bad, we're not worried about respiratorily depressing them with the dose that diverse it is. The biggest problem is that there's been a shortage of it in the United States and it's not FDA approved for this indication. But it is a great alternative, especially for teenagers and young adults, and for people who are in wheelchairs, multiply handicapped in wheelchairs, where it's difficult to get them out of the wheelchair to give the rectal valium or the diastat. So if you're looking for a rescue medication and diastat, which is a rectal suppository, is really not what you want to use in a public place, speak to your practitioners and see if this is a good option for you to use and let them teach you how to use it.